Hi, Lockie Dello here for the National Maritime Museum in Sydney. Now, there's a couple of situations that should be avoided at all costs. One, forgetting to take your pyjamas off before you head to the office. And two, launching a boat at a busy boat ramp. Now, boat ramps are pressure cooker situations and on any given weekend, boats are dinged, cars are dipped and a lot of egos are bruised as people try to retrieve and launch their boats the wrong way. So we thought we'd have a chat to Catherine Kershaw, who's one of the ship keepers at the National Maritime Museum here in Sydney, about how to keep your reputation intact when you're on the ramp. Well, Kath, here we are at that dreaded boat ramp, and it's a slippery one at that. What's the etiquette for launching a boat? Uh, well, the main thing you've got to remember is to not jump the queue. So take a look at uh, how the boat ramp works and just make sure that you get, get in, in the right position. One of the other things is to make sure that you do all of your prep while you're either in the queue or before you, you jump in uh, to minimise the time spent on the ramp. What are the, the biggest mistakes that you see people make? It's amazing the number of people that, that launch their boat without the bungs in and Ooh. yep, and uh, with the tie down still on and they wonder why they can't get it off the trailer. All right, Catherine, what are the top tips for launching a boat? Well, it's really important to make sure that you're fully prepared. Um, so make sure that you've got your fenders in place, uh, lines that you need, and uh, one of the important things is making sure that your trailer lights are off if they're not uh, submersible and waterproof. Make sure you have a look at the lay of the land and, and any uh, obstacles that might be in your way. What is the art to backing your boat down to the water? Well, it's really important just to take your time and make sure that the boat and the car are in, in, in a nice straight line and then back back slowly. So one really important thing is to make sure that you don't unhook your safety chain until you're in the water and ready to go. Otherwise, your boat might float away without you and it won't be a very fun day. And what should we do once we get the boat into the water? Well, it's really important to move away as quickly as possible. Um, so a lot of boat ramps these days have pontoons located nearby. So if you move your boat um, to the, as far away on the pontoon as you can uh, and tie up, and you can also uh, take your car back off the boat ramp. So you've had a great day out on the harbour. Now it's time to bring your boat back, go home. What's the art of putting your boat back on a trailer? Well, when you're coming uh, in, just make sure that the centre of the boat is lined up with the centre of the trailer. So as soon as you're uh, in far enough, uh, hook your winch on and you can winch your boat up. Uh, move away to uh, an area that's out of the way uh, and then you can put all your tie downs back on, uh, make sure it's all secured, make sure the safety chain is back on and uh, all your lights and head home. Well, thanks to Catherine, I'm now feeling a little bit more confident when it comes to launching my boat. So there's a couple of things to remember. Prepare your boat on land, not in the water. Make sure your bungs are in. It's a good idea to check out the ramp at low tide before you use it. And when it comes to backing your car down, align your boat and your car. Finally, the last thing is when it comes to retrieving the boat, do it all in reverse. Well, kind of.